why do we run a system like this, an early childhood education? You probably don't want those kids to be choosing their schools. You know, parents, <laughs> their parents, we assume, are best to know. Say it goes for tertiary, where maybe you can well argue that students are best placed to know themselves, but somehow there's this black hole in the middle where we just can't handle it. Happy to answer that. Uh, okay. Do you want to? Yeah. Well, I'd like to finish off the Polly Williams story. You know. <laughs> But he, you know, Polly Williams got supported by the right wing, by all the, by big business and what have you, all the way through. Drove through this, got this voucher system in place, and then she said the people who supported her deserted her because the kids that she was advocating for couldn't get into the schools that their parents wanted to. The voucher system, from her point of view, was a failure. So don't tell me that that's going to that that we're in a system where um, which benefits the poor. It doesn't. Mr. Whittington didn't show much knowledge of schools, really. So I don't think I should. There's a far, there's a far bigger problem. <laughs> every, every Monday morning in South Auckland, 400 kids change schools. And it's called transience, and it's because of poverty. And I, I would hope the next debate that the, the society here has, why in this land of plenty do we have 180,000 kids growing up in poverty? That's the key. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've come to 7.30 when you were told the debate would end. Um, we are going to decide the uh, debate, uh, putting aside any prejudices <laughs> <laughs> on a show of hands. So, to put the motion, those in favour of the motion that we should implement a system of education vouchers in New Zealand, raise your hands. Thank you. Those against, raise your hands. I declare the affirmative.